Ah, I can't believe it, my Wuhan squad, we've got birds. They're looking at me like, this person is weird. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, my Wuhan squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Oh my gosh, guys. Um, Today's a huge day, as you can see in the title. We're going to go pick up our bird's nail. Uh, this is crazy. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> birds are coming back into our lives today, guys. Unbelievable. Um, but also, guys, I've got some amazing news that I'll be announcing towards the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Um, but meanwhile, do you guys see in the reflection? Do you guys see? Do you guys see? There's our bed. Uh-huh. So we decided to unwrap the bed um, and dress it. This is just temporary beddings that we just like bought from SNR um, because they still have work to do in, in the home. So like we're expecting it to get like dusty and stuff still dirty. Get the permanent beddings for after all the work is done in the room. So anyways, for those of you who are new, this here is our master bedroom at the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse. It is essentially the first part of the home that um, the workers completed just so eventually RJ and I could move in. And this is the recent, this is what the bedroom looks like now. There's a few furniture pieces missing still. Um, display case unit, we've got jacuzzi, We've got RJ. Hi RJ, my handsome prince. <laughs> Did you guys see that? He, as I was turning the camera to him, he's like, no, no, no. RJ is very shy. He doesn't like being on camera. Although I love seeing him on camera. He's so good looking and sorry, I, I know I should ask for permission. Trust me guys, usually I'm really respectful. I'm like, RJ, is it okay to vlog? And this is why you guys often, there are days you don't see RJ in the vlog. It's because it's his choice, guys. And I respect privacy. Every, not everybody wants to be known public, guys. Not everybody wants to be seen by hundreds of thousands or even millions of eyes. I respect that. This master bedroom is pretty much almost done. Um, now, we're gonna go pick up the birds. It's all the way in another town, another city called Bulacan. And OMG, this is crazy. I'm also wearing gray to commemorate a very special bird. The whole reason why we bought and built this home actually. That of course is our late African gray parrot, Ligaya. I'm sure she is with us in spirit. <laughs> you know, when she died during the pandemic, RJ and I told ourselves we're never getting birds again. Here we are, some two years or so later, welcoming birds back into our life, our lives. As you saw in the last vlog, I've got all everything ready. We've got our cages, we've got bird food, um, tons of cool stuff, courtesy of Paws on Fifth. See you guys, I'm ready. Bird snacks, bird seed and grain, various teas, herbals. Everything, like my, microbiota for gut. Um, Tops pellet food, probably the best on the market, Tops. Oh yeah, and a lot of you guys messaged me yesterday asking if we were okay regarding the earthquake. I didn't feel the earthquake, guys. Uh, Ate Elsie did. Ate Elsie felt it in the staff house. RJ, did you feel an earthquake? Not yet. Yeah, RJ didn't feel it either. Um, but it did hit other parts of the Philippines and it was pretty devastating and I was looking at the pictures and videos online It was pretty crazy So do keep those people in the Philippines who were affected by this earthquake in your prayers And we all hope that the these places affected by the earthquake recover quickly And guys, here's the aviary They're doing some last-minute finishing touches just cleaning it up um any little fleck of paint or whatnot the work here will be completely done by today this here will be the mansion for the birds they're also going to put a temporary mesh up there while they are finalizing like this upper roof part and getting the temp the permanent mesh but guys before we go i want to take you up here listen to the birds this here's the pet room do you guys hear that 
Listen to the awesome birds in the morning. We're here on the roof deck. We are literally at the treetops, guys. Do you hear that? What is making that noise? It's not even noise, it's music, sorry. What is making that bird call? Let's see if I, it can answer me back. Isn't that beautiful? I love the birds. I wonder if when we have birds here, it will attract other birds <laughs> into the area. Ah, oh, guys, it's finally happening, yes! Okay guys, so if you're new, um, we're getting three birds today. Um, they are really special birds. I have not revealed what they are. I did post on my community tab post the birds um, in their arrival boxes. And I believe one or two of you guys got, the, got it correctly as to what it is because you couldn't see the birds. They, they were like in the shadows of the box. Um, but I'm really excited. They are two females and one male. Uh, unrelated so if they mate it's it's okay um, and it was their genders were verified by DNA like with these birds you cannot tell just by looking at them they're not sexually dimorphic uh, like some parrots like eclectus eclectus is so easy guys if it's green it's a boy if it's red it's a girl I wish all birds were that easy uh, no but um, other parrots you kind of have to get their blood and then analyze it and see their DNA to tell if it's a boy or a girl. So we have one male and two females coming in. And guys, I'm so, so happy. Cheers, some coffee. Mm. And can I just say that the Mabuhai Squad Farm property is a haven for birds. It, there's just untouched forest all around. We're not in the city, so like we have some wildlife here that is just, I've never seen it before. It's just perfect. It's kind of like a sanctuary for wildlife, this whole area. Surprise! Hey guys, we're back at the condo in Manila, well, Mandaluyong. And first of all, check out the view. Ah, uh, all you OG Mabuhay squad. Do you miss this view like I do? Man, I love coming back to the city. It's always great to be back in the condo, um, but we needed to come back before picking up the birds because we needed to pick up a few stuff to bring to the Mobuhai Squad farmhouse because, you know, now that our bedroom is pretty much almost done, we can start stocking all the shelves and units and stuff. Um, stuff that will make it a little more homey, right? Um, see, in here we've got a box of tons of stuff. We'll set that all up and you guys will see that later. But I also wanted to come back to the condo to get random bird things, guys. For instance, tea maker for making bird tea. Um, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, sprouting jars. Where are the sprouting jars? I think, I think they're packed. Sprouting jars, certain bird toys, all of that. So needed to come back, bird books. Um, but it's always great to be back in this condo. Ah. So good. So many memories here, guys, seriously. This was the place RJ and I were locked up in for lockdown for eight months, never left this condo. I'm so proud of us for doing that. Eight months staying in like a little condo like this? Wow. Um, and RJ and I have lived here, in case you're new, um, for as long as we've been dating. So like, what, 10 years? Um, and I love this condo. I love it so much. It's uh, it was actually my very first place like that I paid for and owned in my life uh, That's this so it has a such sentimental value to me and by the way, it's available for sale We're making it available um, In case someone would like to also make this their home, but now after this heading over to go pick up the birds Oh guys, look at what we found, a Ligaya mug, see? And remember her cage used to be here, remember that? 
And every morning we would open the cage and be like, good morning. And she would be like, <laughs> did you sleep well? Oh, and she would like hang out on her playpen at the top of the cage and she would just make all kinds of like sounds and beeps and squeaks and pops and noises. Miss her so, so much. I'm excited to have birds back in our lives, guys. I don't know about you. I know this will be a different experience because one, these birds are already weaned. We're not raising them from like chicks. Um, they were hand raised and fed through syringe. Um, so they will be tame generally. Uh, but it will be a different experience also because there are three of them so they have each other to bond with um, and I'll just have to enter the flock so it's a different dynamic um, but I mean still awesome to have birds in our lives in case you guys were wondering these birds are capable of talking some words not like an African Grey but they are capable of like mimicking words but in a bird voice if that makes sense okay guys we're here to pick them up omg all right here they are how is it yeah. are they cute of course <laughs> of course rj says were they playing with you you said yeah they, they were that. already playing with him so i don't know which one Goodbye. is a boy or girl yet but these are their birth certificates we'll figure it out based on the, the code on the band, on their wristband. It reminds me of Sahara. Who? Sahara? Our dog? Yeah, this one? Yeah. Hi there. Hi. Oh, they're not afraid. Yeah. Hi there. Wait, let me Hang tight. Down. We're going to be home soon. They're probably terrified. <laughs> the middle one is super curious. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Don't, don't bite me. Okay. We're your new family. That one's like Cypher. This yeah. one is like Cypher. It's scared. <laughs> And this one is like uh, what? <laughs> we gotta think of some names, Mabuhai Squad, but I didn't want to name them yet. Like, just want to see their personalities first. Wow, guys, so this is really happening. Our children have arrived. Um, gonna place them into the cage. Um, and I think for now, the cage will be uh, in our bedroom. Just so things are quiet, we can bond with the birds over the next week or so. They can finish what they need to do in the aviary. We'll see. I, we might move the cage to the aviary earlier. But right now, heading back home, the cage will be ready in our bedroom to place them in. Um, we'll have some fresh water, some food in there for the birds to eat, and some toys to play with in their new cage. Wow, they came from Al Bai Biko, guys. I wonder if the three birds have met each other because they're unrelated they were not chick mates um they're not siblings so i wonder um but i mean they're still young i could really tell they have that like chick aura to them you know what i mean just really innocent and unsure and just still very young so um it looks like they're still very open to forming new bonds and uh learning who's in the flock this should be interesting, guys. Yeah, I caught this one peeking. This one over here is peeking. The no, the uh, one, uh, yeah. Hi there. These birds have no idea they are going to move into the biggest palace, which was built for them. Don't you think the aviary is going to be really big for these birds? I think so. Guys, it took me forever to research and also forever to find an, a breeder here in the Philippines with these available. They're really looking at us through the through the mesh. They're so curious. Hey guys. You're so beautiful. Look at this one. It's like, let me out of here. I want to get out. This one seems really scared. It hasn't moved. I hope it's okay. But these two, oh look at that color. Oh look at the color. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to see you guys. You guys are right there? Man, these birds traveled from afar. Just rest. Rest right now. We'll have food and water where we're going. And some nice toys to play with. Guys, this one totally wants out. It's like breaking free, trying to break free through the wood. Don't worry, where you're going, you'll have lots of chew toys to play with.
All right, guys, we are home. The birds have arrived here in the bedroom. We've set up the cage over here. Yes. So very basically set up for now. The birds have their water there um, and they've got two bowls here. It's afternoon now. See, as you can see, sun streaming in and um, I've put about a teaspoon and a half of dry food because in the afternoons evenings this is when they would be eating their dry mix so in here i've put all sorts of goodies we've got tops pellet um, i've put a few chamomile flowers human grade tea dried chamomile flowers so they could relax on their first day there's adlai various oats and um a few seeds in there as well a variety of different seeds for them yes i'll put that here. Ooh, guys, this is bringing back memories of Legaisies. All right. Hi, guys. Welcome home. Mm hmm. All right. So, to open this, I got to remove this nail and then this top slides off, I believe. So, that should make it easy for me to put them in there. Okay, guys, let's do this. This nail. Don't be afraid. There we go. Close the nail. Hi guys. I'll try to make this easy for you guys. There you go. There's an opening. Go ahead. Um, another thing I can do is actually just. There you go. There you go. Yes, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys. See. Yep, that's correct. Go ahead. One more, the shy one. Okay, wait, let me remove this. Are you eating seeds? I've got seeds for you in here. Yes, don't worry. Here you go, go ahead. Here you go, go ahead. You can go out. They're talking to each other. Do you need help? Do you need a boost? Okay, oh, maybe not. All right. There you go. And closing. Yes! Yeah! And you pooped already. Here's some water if you guys need water. And here's some dry mix if you need food here. Where's that, LC? Ganda? Yeah. Look at them. That's right. Oh, drinking water already. Yep, feel free. You guys must be famished and thirsty. Well, maybe not famished because there were seeds in that box. Go ahead, explore. There's some seeds in, in that bowl right there. Their little chirps are so cute. Okay, let's not fight now. Oh, oh. Let's hope they get along. <laughs> Wow, they totally are flying. Hi guys. Okay, I don't know which one is the boy and which one is the girl. Oh my gosh, guys. So the bonding begins. For those of you who are new to birds, when they first arrive, you kind of just need to leave them alone. Um, but you, you can stick around, let them be birds. Um, because with birds, you kind of have to like, sort of creep into their heart. <laughs> It takes a while for them to get used to you being part of the flock. So right now they're in a strange environment. They are getting to know each other. So they're going to establish some kind of like hierarchy right now. Um, and so if you haven't figured out by now, these birds are a type of parrot. They are called crimson bellied conures. Yes, um, I did a previous video where I went over some possible breeds, I mean species of birds that would go well in our aviary and Crimson Belly Conure was one of them. Um, I'm so happy to have found a breeder here in the Philippines of Crimson Belly Conures and they're just awesome. Look at them. They're so curious. They're looking already. This is a very spacious cage for them so they'll be comfortable. I'm not worried. There's a lot of flying space for them for now. Even more so when they're in the aviary. Um, but yeah, there's a simple toy up there uh, for them to play with. I'll probably add more and more toys as, as we go along. I didn't want to overwhelm them, but 
we'll see. Eventually, they'll kind of get bored of exploring and eating, and they will go for that toy. Oh, guys, I'm watching them right now. They're checking out the food bowl. Go ahead, you can eat from the food bowl. It's all right. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Awesome. Different seeds you've never seen before, huh? They're drinking. Oh, awesome. Go ahead, feel free to drink. Sweet. Thirsty. They'll probably bathe too. Wow, guys, they are going all over the place. Do you think they like their new home? So cute. I love their colors, guys. Isn't that awesome? And then in the sun, they'll even look more colorful. And just, if you're new to birds, they're babies still. So these baby feathers will eventually shed during their next molt. And the new feathers that come in will be even brighter and more beautiful. Yes, you guys are beautiful birds. Ah, uh, I can't believe it. Mabuhay squad, we've got birds. They're looking at me like, this person is weird. Okay. Our new kids are here. What should we name them? Now that you've seen them, I mean, I'll continue to ask for name suggestions as the vlogs go on and as we get to know their personalities, you know what I mean? And then we'll eventually all vote for an official name for these three beautiful birds. So again, it's a, one male and two females. I'm gonna try to see if I can tell them apart just by like little differences in their feather colors or shape of head or even behavior, but this will definitely be interesting. They're so funny. They're hilarious. Like, like I said, as they get older, that crimson breast will be even brighter red. They're just, they're just babies right now. Wow. And they are exploring. You like the cage? You like this bedroom? You guys are beautiful. They're so funny. Okay, easy. They're gonna have to learn to get along with each other. Now here in the master bedroom, we have an air purifier running. We actually have two, one here, one here by the door, um, you know, in case any like dust come through like the little spaces, um, just so that's taken care of. And our air conditioning units are also air purifying systems. Like it's built into the air conditioning unit. So I'm not too worried about like dust or anything coming in that will affect the birds. For now. The birds also can technically go to the aviary right now. However, uh, they are just installing the temporary netting on the, on the top of the aviary. Um, and like I said, the original plan was to just keep them in this cage. Let the birds know that the cage is home. It's a safe space. It'll also allow them to be exposed to me and my dogs just so they can, you know, get used to us and desensitize themselves to humans and uh, all of that stuff. The aviary will always be there and we'll eventually migrate them to the aviary. At first, they will have the cage and the aviary, but my goal is to just have them sleep and everything in the aviary, remove the cage at some point when they're completely used to the aviary and that will be that. And in case I ever need to get any of these birds, I will just wheel in this cage and feed them in the cage and then close the door so that I could catch them. That's the plot. Hi there. Okay, I'm gonna try to see the band. You are, what's the number on your wristband? 405, oh, this one here is a female. You're a female, you're so cute. Now it's against the light, so you can't really see and appreciate their colors right now. So that means back there is a male and a female. Which one is the male? Yes, hi there. Yes, you're so cute. Mm-hmm. You're pretty brave to be standing so close to me. I think birds just know when a human is like, okay. <laughs> but again, these birds were hand raised, so they, they know people are okay. Oh, adorable. You guys are adorable. Now they're starting to groom each other. The bonding begins. Okay, is, are you a male or female? The one in the middle is the female. One of these here is another female and the other is a male. But I can't tell unless I see the number on their wristband. Isn't that adorable? They're already bonding, see? What you're seeing here is called preening and it's like how birds show affection. They kind of like groom each other. Ah, you guys are so cute. Mm-hmm, super cute. Oh, wait a sec. This one on the left doesn't have a red breast. 
Hmm, is that normal, guys? Or did we get a green cheek conure by accident? Are you a green cheek? Or are you a crimson bellied conure? I ordered three crimson bellied conures. Maybe this, the breast on this one still needs to grow in. All right. Aw, you guys friends now? Oops. Oh, this one's, this female really wants to come close to the camera. Mabuhai Squad says hi to you guys. Uh-huh. You are so brave, you. 405. Yeah, you're a female. And I want, I wonder if I could see what that green chested one is. You're too far. I'll figure it out, Mabuhai Squad. I think they're the best of friends now. Feel free to eat anytime. You're home now. We'll take good care of you. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse. Aw. Uh -huh. See, they're starting to groom each other. Aw, you guys are best of friends. Well, Mabuhai Squad, it's been an awesome day. Um, this is the, truly the beginning of a new chapter. And look, I could totally just sit on this hanging chair like a bird and hang out with the birds. See? Um, actually, I probably might want to wheel this cage a bit closer to here so they can get some sun. Um, but also, I'm kind of concerned about them splashing water onto our, onto the walls and stuff. So I think we might even move them here possibly and like protect that wall. Again, they're not gonna be in the bedroom permanently. <clears throat> this is just a temporary place while they get acclimated. RJ's talking to them. Do you like them? Yeah. They are cute, and they're already bonding. I saw them preening each other, like grooming each other already. One of them is particularly brave. This one looks tired. Yeah. Yeah. See, you... Look at the eye. She's probably sleepy. Yeah, she's tired. Sleep. Go ahead, you can sleep. They traveled 12 hours by land. One of them ha doesn't have a crimson belly yet. I hope there wasn't a mistake. Like, one of them kind of looks like a green cheek conure. The middle one. Are you sure? No, I, I think the, the red will come in later. Oh, these birds are sleepy. All right. Good night. Time for sleep, sleep, sleep. Yes, it is time for sleep, 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 sleep. So Mabuhai Squad, thank you so much for tuning into this vlog. It's been a huge day, another adventure, um, and uh, we really appreciate all of your support. Again, for those of you here uh, who subscribed to my channel back when I had Ligaya, I'm getting nostalgia and it's that same exciting feeling again. I do know that Ligaya's spirit is with us through this all um, and she would have loved to have met these birds but i know she's she's here ligaya thank you please teach these birds all you know wow 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 <laughs> um anyways guys if you enjoyed this vlog be sure to hit that like button it really helps us we'd really appreciate it um it also helps youtube know that our videos are worth sharing to new audiences join our mabuhai squad because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes and birds and farm and farmhouse and everything else food everything positive vibes all around guys right fist bump love you i'll see you in the next vlog oh wait wait i also forgot to tell you something there's some great news that i would like to share how could i forget this mabu high squad the great news is that we finally get to sleep over at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse tonight on this bed. Yay! Mabu High Squad, we're finally sleeping over. Woohoo! First night at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse. First night at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse. Woohoo!